This one's gonna be for people that has a modded Wii. This time I'm gonna convert the um, was uh, the Wii ISOs to WFS and GameCube ISOs to CISOs, which is called compressed ISOs. And both of these methods are just basically for uh, compatibility and saving space because you see all these games here like these Wii games are like about four gigs here and some of them are seven gigs uh, I think it's like a dual layer d DVD or something like that and GameCube games are about uh, 1.36 gigs here because I think they're like mini discs or something like that anyways uh, what we're gonna do is actually shrink it and still make it compatible with um, <clears throat> uh, was that USB loader GX right USB Loader GX can actually launch Wii, not Wii games. Well, it can launch Wii games and GameCube games, uh, but the GameCube games are actually run by Nintendo. Don't. So make sure you have, you know, a modded Wii. Uh, you need Homebrew Channel, of course. You need um, USB Loader GX, and you also need Nintendo. Don't if you're gonna play GameCube games. Anyways, all that being said, how do you convert this thing? Because I did show you the GUI like a. Uh, I think a year ago or whatever but that thing was taking too long and this one is way quicker uh, if you're a command line user like me uh, so I'll show you how it looks like here I wrote these uh, functions that you can put in your bash RC or ZSHRC so convert to game and since we're doing GameCube games we're going to use USB loader GX here right and they have some help page if you want to read up on it here but basically it's, it's going to convert the ISOs to WBFS here um, and you can do singles, so singles, multiples, so you know, multiple games, or you can do the whole folder. You can do a star.isos. And what it does is that it actually generate the, uh, was that the, was that the uh, folder name and ID, right? You need the ID because that's the format they like. And uh, was that game ID name? That's what's going to output it at. And if you're going to put this on your, uh, was that USB hard drive? You need to have a WBFS folder, okay, for the Wii games here, and that's pretty much it. Now, if the the games are like over four gigs, it will actually automatically split. So the first one is going to be WFS. The second one is going to be, I'll say WBF1. If there's more, there'll be WBF2, but it's going to split at four gigs, okay. So that's what I'm going to tell you here. I'll actually show you both for that. But how does it look like when you do this here? So we do this, and we want to do, let's say, Wii Sports. Now notice Wii Sports is about, uh, you know, the ISO is about four gigs here, right? Uh, and we convert it here. You can see that it will generate a folder here with the proper name. It has the ID and everything, right, in uh, brackets. And you can see inside it, uh, this is the game in WFS format. And you can see right now it says, 466 megabytes so you see is it saves a lot of space as comp compared to the original one which is about four gigs here that's a lot of space right now you can do multiples if you like so let's say I do multiples let's say I do uh, vertigo and I do we play um, there we go and this one will convert it real quick like I said because this one is not that big so you see we play here this is about 240 megabytes this uh, vertical game is about 7 10 megabytes and it has the proper format with the folders and everything um, pretty much that now if you want to see uh, which one was that I think the WWE game so this WWE game it will actually convert um, what is that let's see convert uh, that's the wrong one so this WWE game, let's do that right now. This one will actually create um, a split. So I'll show you how the split looks like when it's done here. But we'll wait here for it converting. But you can see it actually tells you here that it's converting to WBFS, right? It's scrubbing all the um, the useless data that uh, the Wii and the GameCube games um, does to fill the space of the CD so it can help the lasers, but since we're not caring about using the DVD drive or whatever, um, we're just going to use it from a hard drive. It does not matter. Okay. But anyways, this one takes a little bit longer because this one will split. Uh, let me show you. Maybe they show you in action here. 
let's see here. So this one is generating right now, so it's gonna take a little bit while. But once it's done, you're gonna see two files, and I'll show you how it looks like when it's done. Uh, well, hold on, is there? How long is this gonna take? But anyways, let me explain you the help page while that's doing that. But uh, you can do convert to games. What is that? Uh, USB loader GX. So like I said before, you need to create a. Uh, I can't stress this enough. You have to do this when you're using USB loader GX. You have to create a uh, WBFS folder, right? And all you gotta do is dump in all your folders that this um, script is is uh, creating like all these um, folders here right just dump it into that WBFS folder and all your games will be uh, like this um, once it uh, once USB loader sees the format they'll actually know the album art to, uh, to use like these ones these uh, codes these ID codes that's how they know like uh, the album art um, that's gonna use for that uh, game and so on and so forth um, but like I said, this one here for the WWE, uh, this one they split at 4 gigs here. And anything extra is going to go to WBF1 and you know WF2 if it needs more. But we're splitting it at 4 gigs each, right? That's so it can be compatible with um, FAT32 partitions because FAT32 is use it's pretty much what you want to use if you're using a soft modded Wii. Uh, that's the format that's, that's most compatible. But uh, that's it for the Wii stuff. Now let's go over to the GameCube. Pretty much the same thing, just on this one's called Convert to Game Nintendo Don't. Nintendo Don't is the loader for uh, GameCube, but you can actually use this inside of USB loader. And uh, let's do conversion here. Let's say I'm, for example, I'm gonna convert this Dave something game. And you see that it's scrubbing it also, right? It's doing a scrub and it's converting to C ISOs. And C ISOs are compressed ISOs. Basically, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, WFS. Uh, what it does is that it will actually get rid of the dummy files and you'll say space. And pretty much that's what we're doing here. And this one is compatible with uh, Nintendo Don't, but you have to have like a correct version here. Anyways, uh, let me explain this here. So you see when it's done, they create this folder and inside of the game is called game.isos. If you have like multiple games, um, for example, let's say if I have like two discs, you want to name the second disc, uh, what was that? Disc2.iso, right? So if you have um, the game and you have a second disc, you have to have the second disc called disc2.iso. Uh, but this one doesn't have it, so you don't really have to need it. But uh, that's what it does, it will convert it. So you can do singles, multiples, or whatever. So let's say, for example, I do this fairly odd appearance, whatever. And what else is there? Let's do tube slider, right? Let's do, do two more. Uh, this one doesn't split because most of the GameCube games never go over four gigs. So you don't have to worry about splitting uh, GameCube games. Now, the one thing with GameCube games on a soft modded Wii. Uh, using Nintendo don't is uh, pretty sure you have to use fat 32 partition to uh, to use this you can't use NTFS or any of that um, so that's pretty much it for um, the requirements for Nintendo don't here but you can see that it's generating um, another one here and let me just explain you the um, help options that you have in here so this one is for Nintendo don't which is for a GameCube and there we go so what we're doing is that we're converting the uh, ISO image to C ISOs and C ISOs are compressed ISOs it ignores the unused blocks um, the requirements for this is that you do need Nintendo version 4.428 or higher because that's the version that actually supports C ISOs all right um, and this one will work with uh, was that Nintendo Don't and USB Loader GX. Um, as far as the conversion, once we convert it to C ISOs, we actually have to rename it to ISOs uh, because USB Loader GX they they don't recognize C ISO format. 
but um, you know the Nintendo don't it doesn't matter what you use in there uh, they'll recognize ISOs, CISOs, uh, GCM, all that but you see it's similar in here but this one is not WFS folder you have to actually create a game folder um, in your you know your hard drive and then you all you gotta do is transfer all your games that you converted um, to that games folder for GameCube games pretty much it and like I said if you have multiple disks um, you have to manually uh, was that rename your second disk to disk 2 right uh, that's pretty much all you gotta do like I said you can do singles multiples here or all of it using a wildcard um, and this one is compatible with USB Loader GX and that's mainly what I use to launch Wii games and GameCube games uh, so I think that's it really and the other requirements like I said is you need to have uh, the program called WIT let me see here do I have that in here let's see I think that was the name I'm not sure there you go this is the name okay so this one is the program that you need this is the backend program for that GUI I talked about a long time ago and this one will work with you know GameCube games and Wii games uh, to convert it anywho that's what you need to install I think it should be in your repositories on any distribution so you don't have to go externally uh, that's it I think that's it right anything else I need to remember no that's it that's all you gotta do you can uh, enjoy all your games like I'm doing I have like all the I have all the GameCube games all the Wii games um, Oh yeah, another thing I need to explain is that uh, if you want to use this, uh, I think you, uh, my recommendation is get a two terabyte. I tried it with four with multiple partitions. It didn't go out so well. So I recommend uh, two partition, uh, I mean not two partition, I mean uh, one single partition, FAT32 32-bit cluster, uh, two terabyte max, and as far as the Wii games, like all the Wii games in the US release it can fit on uh, 2 terabyte right and as far as GameCube games you only need 1 terabyte if you want the whole set for uh, the US release I try to fit both like GameCube and Wii games into a 2 terabyte I got really close but ultimately it did not fit both of them in one so I had to separate it out uh, I think in the future maybe if they have more support for 4 terabyte then I can fit the, the Wii games and GameCube games in one uh, hard drive. That would be my goal, but right now you have to separate it out. Um, anyways, that's a long thing, but uh, if you want to get the code, I'll show you here. Uh, pretty simple, like I said. You know, these are just the help page, not really that important here. But here we're doing like an array. And oh, yeah, I can explain some of these other stuff here too. So this one is using the WIT program to convert. Um, to see ISOs here, sorry. And this one is just doing from uh, the file name. So whatever file name it is, if you want to do it from, um, what was that? Uh, oops, what the hell? What am I doing? If you want to do it from like the title inside the the game, like there's two different things. There's the title inside the game. So let me see for example here. Uh, let's say for example I do this uh, WWE game here right you can see in here it, it has their own naming convention so WWE Smackdown versus Raw 2009 my original file name is called W uh, Smackdown versus Raw 2009 USA ENFR for you know English and French and so it's a different name and if you want to do it that way since I don't know where you guys download yours from, but mine wasn't named properly. But if yours was not named properly, you probably want to use this other one that I created also. And this one will take the name inside the ISOs, right? Um, but it's up to you, like I said. Now, you don't actually have to convert the ISOs. If you just want to generate the file, for, uh, wasn't the file, the folder, you can actually just use uh, this, right? And this one will take the file name, and the other one is just going to take um, the title name inside the ISO. So, however you want to do it, but the one I'm using is the bottom one here, this one here. 
uh, that's the one I'm using right but you can play around with these other ones if you maybe you don't want to convert right then these two options up here it's just gonna use your existing ISOs and uh, create the files uh, I mean not create the files create the folders and then it will actually just move the ISOs in it uh, and then name it properly and as far as USB loader GX here this one's for the Wii and the only thing I have in here is that uh, I use this one it's based on the file name if you want to use it the title name uh, that's the title name inside the ISOs uh, like I just explained over here you know if you do uh, what was the Wii one this one the Wii one here if I was doing um, so this one is inside the ISO so let's say Scorpion King here uh, you can see that this one is just called Scorpion King it doesn't actually have the rise of the Cadians or anything like that and that's the title inside the ISOs that it's going to grab it from so whatever you want to use all you got to do is uncomment it out right uncomment these out and I'll use that make sure you comment the other ones out if you don't want to use the other ones anyways I, I left it in there if you want to do either or it's up to you uh, post you this in the description and all you got to do is dump it into your bash rc or zshrc uh, or any, I think it works with any compatible bash uh, shell right or you can just create your own script huh that's it for this one it's a long video